Hey, everybody, we're going to talk about some of my favorite opportunities in the stock market. Before we do, please click subscribe to my channel and take a minute to check out a message from our sponsor, The Motley Fool, where you can get the top 10 stocks to buy right now. So one area of the stock market I don't have a ton of exposure to in my portfolio is energy. And it's one that I've been trying to get a little more exposure to. And I brought in an expert to get to get me started on the right path. So Tyler Crow, my partner in crime, is joining me today. Uh, Tyler, what is your favorite energy stock to buy right now? And then I want to tell you mine and you can tell me what you think about it. Sure. Well, um, I'm going to feel bad because the last time I made a recommendation in energy for you, it got absolutely destroyed. Um, we I, a long time back, I recommended Transocean and, you know, under the idea of it was going to be the best rig company remaining. Well, that was technically true. The rest of them have bankrupt but it didn't make the returns any better. So I'm going to do you a favor and I'm actually going to do two here because one is going to be kind of, like you said, you want some basic energy exposure. And if that's the case, if you know, you don't know a whole lot of energy about energy, you're nervous about the sector. Understandably, there's a lot of like cyclicality involved. I think if investors want to get kind of dip their toes into this, I would really recommend refiners, specifically Valero Energy. Uh, this is a company because of the way that refining works. It's a value add product where, you know, doesn't matter what the pr uh, price is going in, doesn't really matter what the price is going out. It's a value add system where, you know, they're going to make a cut. And this has been a relatively profitable business for them for a very long time. Valero and one other uh, refiner, Marathon Petroleum, are the only two oil and gas companies over the past 10 years to beat the S&P 500 on a total return basis, because that's just how steady they've been. You know, revenue, it's not going to grow much. That's fine. But what they do is they manufacture growing earnings per share by throwing off a lot of free cash flow off, buying back loads of stock and paying a relatively generous dividend. Uh, at this time right now, Valero pays a dividend of above 3% right now. And it, it has been above four at times. But the point is, if you're looking for safe exposure, you want to dip your toes in, look at refiners. I think Valerio is a good choice. Now, the one I really want to talk to you about is Noble Energy or Noble Corp. Excuse me. They're an offshore rig company. I know. Bad idea. I've already recommended these before. But this is a very, very different market than what it used to be because over the past seven years, the rig, fl the fleet of available rigs globally has about been cut in half. It's just been scrapping rigs. They're like, we're not going to use these ever again. Buy off to the scrapyard. And because we've reduced the available rigs so much, they're actually in demand again. We went from, you know, utilization of like 60%. Now we're above 85%. And Noble's interesting because since it went through bankruptcy, it has a squeaky beat clean balance sheet. There's barely any debt on the books and it doesn't have a lot of capital obligations coming. So any free cash flow, any margins that it's going to have right now, that's going to have, it's probably going to go to shareholders in the form of buybacks, in the form of dividends, something like that. And with the demand for offshore that's going to happen in the next 18 months, I think that Noble Core is one of the few uh rig companies i think it's gonna look awesome i know you're probably scared because i said them once before and this may be repeating it but i i feel much more confident this time it's definitely one to look at i i've been looking a lot at next era energy ticker symbol is n-e-e -E. and the big reason i like it is because it's more than just a utility it's like a utility with a lot more upside than the average one does um, there's two two sides to the business, if you're not familiar. There's Florida Power and Light, which is actually the largest electric utility in the U.S. I used to be a customer back when I lived in Florida. Um, and there's also Next Era Energy Resources, which is kind of its uh, clean energy infrastructure assets uh, portfolio. It also has a stake in a uh, master limited partnership, uh, Next Era Energy Partners. And it uses that to kind of generate cash flow by selling some of its assets. It gets dividends from that that stake. And if you look back at the returns, it's more than doubled the S&P's performance over the past 15 years, unlike most utilities. So it just seems like a, it, it seems like a company that has that steady stream of utility income that you look for, 
along with a nice business that can create a lot of long-term upside as well. So am I thinking about that one correctly? Yeah, I think so. Uh, utilities are one of the, the nice things about utilities is you have that built in of the, the regulated business, which is just going to throw off loads of cash and reward investors. But with that little added upside of being able to develop these renewable assets, drop them down into the partnership, and then you know use that as a, a different financing vehicle, it's, it's given it a little bit of an accelerator of growth. Once again, thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to click subscribe if you don't subscribe to my channel already. And as always, this video is sponsored by The Motley Fool. Be sure to visit www.fool.com slash Frankel to receive the 10, top 10 best stocks to buy now.